everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk all about linen organization um, for like your linen closets. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about um, is obviously it depends on exactly what you're going to store in your linen closet. So for a lot of people, it's very different. I'm going to talk about um, exactly what I have in my linen closet um, and kind of explain to you um, all the different like little things about <laughs> each thing. So um, obviously the first thing that everyone's going to have in a linen closet um, is towels. So Okay, so I always make sure to do matching or one or two different colors as far as towels go. Um, I just want it to be simple, easy, um, all cohesive and pretty. And so I feel like having one to two colors um, and having them all matching is going to make a huge difference. If you have a bunch of mismatched towels, go ahead and get rid of those mismatched, mismatched ones um, and go ahead and get new ones. You probably need new ones anyways. So speaking of towels, <laughs> um, as far as bath towels go, um, they say that you're actually supposed to get new ones every two to five years. Um, so if you kind of keep that in mind, if you have a bunch of mismatched ones, it's probably time for them to go. <laughs> um, so I recommend getting rid of them every two to five years and then getting fresh new ones. Um, it'll make you feel so much better. It'll, you know, keep those like, clean and all the things um, and trust me having them all like the same matched it makes a huge difference um, and it will look more designer-esque. Now a fun little tip with towels is I always get the sheets I don't ever get the bath towels um, the sheets are just way bigger <laughs> um, and they cover a lot more so I prefer the um, actual like bath sheets but obviously that's totally up to you. Okay, the other thing is like kitchen towels um, and like washcloths and things like that. Um, I actually normally roll those up and I keep them in a basket in mine. Um, but those you need to change every one to two years um, because those are kind of have like a heavier use. They're kind of more on like the dirty side. Um, they're used for kind of dirty things, whereas like a bath towel is more for like drying yourself off. Um, so if you kind of keep that in mind too, to change those out every one to two years, um, then yeah that would help also a lot. And obviously kitchen towels can be all different, but again, that's gonna wanna hide them in the basket. So um, that's kind of for the kitchen and bath towels though. Okay, the towels I also recommend always matching the style that you're folding them. Um, so some people, you know, roll them because that's easiest for them. Some people fold them um, and there's so many different ways you can fold a towel. For me personally, um, I do it in threes and then I do it half and half. Um, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so at first I do it like long ways and I'll fold it three and then like I said half and half and then I'll put them in there. So they're all folded exactly the same and they're all stacked up all nice and neat and again I'll make it look more organized and clean. Um, if you have them all like folded in different ways because not everyone in the family knows which way to fold them, um, I recommend all getting together, figuring out the best folding way um, that works for everyone and go ahead and do that and match them all up. Um, it doesn't even matter what way you fold them <laughs> or roll them or anything, as long as they're all matching, that will help um, kind of clean up the space a lot, make it look a little bit more cohesive. And again, having that same um, color and the exact same type of towel, it will all just be super cohesive and simple um, and it'll make that space look a lot more clean and organized. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about that you might have in your linen closet is your sheets. Um, so with your sheets, I normally have a, a maximum of one extra set of sheets per bed that I have in the home. So I only have two beds in my home, my bedroom and then the guest bedroom. Um, so I actually only have one extra pair of sheets, um, but obviously that is completely up to you. I know a lot of people will keep sheets over and over and over again. Um, they'll buy new ones and then just keep the old ones. And so they have tons of sheets in their linen closet that aren't ever even used. Um, the reason you have those <laughs> is so that way you can change them out whenever you're washing the other ones. So I recommend having a maximum of one extra per bed. Um, so that way you can switch them while you're washing the other ones. Um, but that is again, the maximum I would do. I would also keep in mind um, on how often you need to change those. So with sheets, it's recommended to do, um, actually buy new ones and change those out every two to three years. Um, so I recommend doing that. And then I actually also always like to do matching ones. Um, so I always do like a dark gray um, type of one. You can obviously do whatever. Um, if you wanna do the same color sets for each bed um, and then keep the extra ones in each bedroom um, for like each 
child, you know, if they have like a favorite color or something like that, um, that's fine. As long as you're kind of keeping them all um, the same as far as like whichever ones go to that bed, um, it'll kind of help to keep things clean and organized and things. So again, I just do gray sheets for all of them, but um, that is completely up to you. Um, and But I would, again, that will make it look a lot better. Also, I always fold them and put them in the very top of my closet. Um, so that includes the fitted sheet. I know a lot of people struggle with um, actually folding a fitted sheet. Um, what I always do is kind of lay it out um, and make sure that you're kind of making a square out or like a rectangle out of um, the outside. So push those folded edges um, in um, to try to make a, like a rectangle on the floor and then try to fold it. Um, it is kind of a bit difficult still, but that will help a lot um, instead of trying to do it while it's all everywhere <laughs> because they, it does make it a little bit more rounded and things like that. So kind of act like you're almost putting it on the bed um, and find those four corners and then go ahead and fold it that way and that will help a lot. Okay, the next thing I have in my linen closet is um, all of my toilet paper. So I have a bunch of extra toilet paper, obviously toilet paper for that bathroom and all the other ones. Um, I have toilet paper like all over the house, but a bunch of extra is in my linen closet. Um, so what I actually do is pull it out of the packaging. I never put it in my closet with the packaging. Um, so I always pull it out of that plastic packaging and just stack it up in there. Again, that makes it a simple, clean look. Um, and it gets rid of that plastic and the packaging. Um, it's not very pretty and it's easier to just grab the toilet paper anyways whenever you need it. Um, so again, I just recommend at least pulling it out and stacking it up or putting it in a basket. Um, something that like, again, will like just look pretty. Um, and again, it'll look more organized having it that way. Okay, and then the last thing I have in my linen closet is medicine. So I know medicine can be in so many different areas of the home. I've seen it in so many places, um, but I keep mine in my linen closet personally. Again, my linen closet is in my bathroom, so it kind of makes it easy. Um, but I always try to hide my medicine because medicine, it's all different sizes and bottles and craziness. Um, as far as like my vitamins and stuff like that go, I do keep those in my kitchen pantry. Um, but whenever it comes to, you know, like your band-aids and Advil and ibuprofen and different ointments and all those different things, um, I like to keep them in a basket in my linen closet. Um, now the reason I keep them in the basket is just so that way you're not seeing all that chaos because there's so many little things and you know, it can keep it all together. You can pull out the basket to go through what you need um, to try to find it. And um, so I just recommend kind of having it more in a concealed area um, and make sure you're going through it regularly because there are lots of times there's so much medicine in someone's medicine cabinet or basket or wherever you keep it. Um, and a lot of those things are expired. So I recommend kind of going through them because you'd be shocked at how little you actually have once you do that, and it'll make it a lot easier and a lot cleaner to kind of go through them, see what you have, um, see whatever you need. I also try to kind of organize it based on category. So depending on um, whatever issue you're having, I kind of have the different categories in the basket. Um, and then obviously I have like the common ones. Um, so I kind of do it that way. Again, it completely depends on you and your lifestyle and how you like to um, kind of do that. <laughs> but um, I highly recommend at least trying to conceal it. Um, so that way it's not just looks like chaos. Um, and it's also easy again for me to just grab the basket and take it wherever I need to. If anyone needs anything that they can look through it. So um, I highly recommend doing it that way. But again, that is completely up to you. Um, and again, don't forget to go through that medicine regularly um, and check those expiration dates because again, you can get rid of a lot of medicine um, or like ointments and things like that that are expired. Um, make sure you do it properly. But <laughs> um, that is very important and it'll make it a whole lot cleaner and more organized and easier to see things. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I know it's pretty sm short, simple, um, but that's kind of how you want your linen closet to be. You don't want to overcrowd it. You don't want to, you know, make it crazy. You know, you want to make it easy um, and, you know, you want it to be a clean and fresh. That's where a lot of your clean linens go. So um, I do think it's important to kind of keep it clean, minimized, things like that. Um, so again, short and simple. <laughs> um, and again, it's okay to have, you know, some free extra space in there. I actually like having the space around each item um, because again, it just brings more of that cleanliness to it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.